Hello and welcome to another edition of Motor Cars Enthusiasts. Right off the bat on the old show today. If you saw the last episode, we talked about the Opel Ampera E and its sister, the brand new Chevrolet Bolt. Now, production may be starting a lot quicker than previously had thought because a couple of outlets are already reporting that this vehicle could be going into production and both of these vehicles will be produced side by side in the United States and Michigan possibly by November of 2016, this year, just over six months' time, possibly these vehicles could be hitting dealer showrooms as early as late 2016, early 2017. This isn't official as of yet, but I'm sure where there's smoke, there's fire. We'll have a whole lot more, hopefully coming very soon. Some more goodies coming out by another manufacturer, Ferrari. Apparently, they're working on a brand new hybrid system that they've already patented. Now, I don't think that really the next LaFerrari is coming down the pike, mainly because the LaFerrari isn't that old. But this possibly could be going into more mundane Ferraris. Is that terrible of me to call regular Ferraris just mundane, but you know what I'm talking about, so be interesting to see what they've got up their sleeve for this hybrid system. Geneva Motor Show is just in a couple of weeks. Maybe we'll know a whole lot more come then. Speaking of the Geneva Motor Show and another manufacturer being the Koenigsegg folks, they got a pair of brand new machines they're going to show off in Geneva, including the last ever version of the Agera. I'm assuming this thing's going to be a little bit of a one-to-one -one with a lot more customization and probably already been sold out as far as that's concerned. Another vehicle that they're going to show off is the Regera, the first production version of this deal. You may know this machine as well. The hybrid, don't call me a hybrid, but also has 1,500 brake horsepower and no transmission inside of this vehicle. It's a direct drive system, so... Be interesting to see if we get a little bit more concrete numbers, maybe 0 to 60, top speed and the like. It'll be very interesting indeed. Another vehicle that's going to be shown off at Geneva is going to be Jaguar's brand new F-Type SVR. This is the top of the tree when it comes to the F-Type versions. Think of the F-Type R a little bit up, up, up on the scale including 55 less pounds than that F-Type R, including lightweight wheels, stickier rubber, a lot of aero tweaks in this vehicle. Jaguar is actually planning on a lot of carbon fiber goodies for these that you could buy at an extra cost down the road that could shave off another 45 pounds of weight off this machine. Now the heart of the beast is still that 5 liter supercharged V8 making 575 brake horsepower and 560 16 pounds feet of torque that is shifted through an 8 speed automatic transmission and all that power is shifted through all four wheels. 0 to 60 comes in at just 3.5 seconds with a top speed of 200 miles an hour for the coupe version. And if you go with top down fun, the convertible version, it's a top speed of 195 miles an hour. Just ahead of the Geneva Motor Show, Jaguar released official pricing for the U.S. market. This vehicle will start off in coupe form at $126,945,000 or for the convertible version at $129,795. Now, the trick is too, they've quite undercut their competition as far as from Mercedes and Porsche, so it'll be interesting to see what Jaguar does with this machine, how well it sells. Stop me if you've heard this before, but it's an Alpine concept from Renault. Yes, remember the blue one we saw last year? Well, this is the new white one. Apparently, this one is a lot more production ready, though. Now, think of this as the Alpine from back in the day. This one coming from with a 1.6 liter turbocharged mid mounted four cylinder, making 197 brake horsepower and 177 pounds feet of torque. But because of its light weight, this vehicle is going to be able to do 0 to 60 in just 4.5 seconds. Now, again, all of this is kind of rumor mill because Renault is claiming that this vehicle will actually have a full production version coming by the end of the year. So apparently we're going to get another concept of the production version that we've already got two concepts of as of now. In fact, if you put these two, the blue one and the white one, side by side, you can see subtle differences as this vehicle continues to evolve heading to its actual production launch. 
Next up on list, let's talk a little bit about Aston Martin because there's a lot of stuff going on over over at the Aston Martin group, including the fact that there's a lot of rumblings that a brand new Vantage and Vanquish is being worked on right now for a possibility of coming out in 2018. Not for sure if those are going to be concept version or production versions. We'll have to wait and see on both those fronts. Including Aston Martin upping their relationship with Le Echo, the Chinese organization that's been working with them about building an EV version of the Rapide S called the Rapid E. We've shown that off in episodes past, but apparently that vehicle could be going into production by 2018 as well, which would mean 2018 is going to be a very entertaining year for the folks over at Aston. Last up on the list, Lexus shows off this ahead of the Geneva Motor Show. You may know this is the LC500 that was shown off just earlier this year. But possibly gone is the 5-liter, uh, 467 brake horsepower, normally aspirated V8, in favor of a hybrid system. Yes, this is the LC500H. No other stuff has been actually released about this vehicle, at least not as of yet. Heading into the Geneva Motor Show, we'll know a whole lot more come then, but boy, you can't do wrong with this gorgeous body, so I cannot wait to hear what this hybrid drivetrain is going to be in this vehicle. And that's all there was that I thought was worth talking about for this edition of Motor Cars Enthusiasts. Don't forget to like us over on the Facebook page. The link's down in the show notes. Also, if you'd like to subscribe to the channel, you can do so at any time and get the first dibs on the brand new shows as soon as they come out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again real soon.